So it's bench day and I'm benching in my gear again because it's Saturday. Um, last week it was single ply training and we're doing uh, multi-ply, got to break in my double ply shirt which is going to be super fun because breaking in multi-ply gear sucks. But uh, this so what I'm doing is taking my usual stack of Alpha Recovery Plus and the Concrete Creatine HCL and this particular flavor, snake fruit, is dye free. So when I add it to my water here, you can tell it's all right, so there's no dye in it, which I think is pretty cool. And then my other pre bench day routine in the morning is to have a peanut butter and honey sandwich. We're almost to the shop gym in Manassas. Got a couple more miles. Uh, plan on getting in there, warming up pretty quick. Uh, getting my gear as soon as possible, save all my energy. I gotta do a couple of break-in sets. So just put like 500 on the bar and just do uh, just a long, grueling, just you know, a couple sets of five. Just let the weight sit on the shirt and just try and break it in a little bit and stretch it and try and, trying to get it to conform to my body and then from there just start piling the weight up and go crazy and the way I used to do things back in 2014 uh, right when I was going over eight into the nines was uh, focusing a lot on doing doubles with singles which worked great. My new approach is to do more reps, more sets, more volume, doing triples, even doing uh, sets of five, just more, more volume at heavy weights, you know, not trying to bench a thousand and be messing around with eight, you know, doing lots of reps and sets with nine plus and, you know, then the one thing I will be doing the same, some training sessions is obviously my overload uh, technique, which I give credit to a lot of my success was doing the uh, the overload training uh, going you know doing the reverse band setup and doing two 250 300 pounds more than my competition max but that's I'm not doing the overload uh, type training today this is gonna be like I said a break-in process with a new shirt uh, trying to get down to at least a two board and if things go well enough maybe get down to a one board so we'll see what happens making a pre-workout shake here. I have burn. I don't have, I uh, usually take, my favorite is uh, the concrete pump. <coughs> oh boy. I, I, haven't try, I haven't gotten a chance to try the concrete pre quite yet. They've been out of stock for a while. Um, so hopefully they come back soon. So this works just as, just as good. burns a little bit. Alright, so I got all my, my gear and I'm ready to walk into the gym. This place is awesome. I believe they told me it's uh, 36,000 square foot. I mean, this, this place is huge. One of the biggest gyms I've ever visited. This is the bench I decided to use today. A little different than last week. It's got the face savers on there. It's pretty important when handling heavy weights, so we're making sure the height is right, we're good to go, so a little habit I have is always, always starting with the empty bar for a bunch of reps, trying to get, trying to get blood in all the right areas, pecs and the shoulders especially, and triceps and back, and uh, as I get older, it seems to be more and more important to, to do this. You can see my next weight of choice is 95 pounds and we're going to do a quick pan over of the gym this is the powerlifting area and that green floor area is for a uh, strong man you can actually do farmers walks and yoke carries and this is just all equipment and all really cool and, uh, that area upstairs is a kind of a lounge area and they have a pose down room for the bodybuilders and fitness competitors that come through with like all the mirrors and the lighting so they can practice their uh, routines 
large array of athletes can uh, use this space. It's really cool. So my favorite wraps, what I'm putting on right there, KLA 3000s. I've used those pretty much my entire lifting career. A lot of big lifts have been done with those those wraps. They have a real special place in my heart. Ken Anderson's been taking care of me since I was 18, so I got a shout out to him and not just for the wraps, but for all the gear I use, all the gears I've used all the, over these years. So I'm just kind of jumping ahead a little bit. Got a set with 315, nothing real serious, a few reps. I don't go, I don't do anything crazy raw uh, when I go to shirt up. So I'll work up to a mild single, which is, this is what this is, just a single here. And uh, me and the wife, you know, we, we train almost exclusively alone. So most times I do all my handoffs on my on my own. She has to hold boards or something. I just hand off the weight to myself. But here, this is 535 pounds, first set, first break-in set. This is what I had mentioned before, the two sets of just a few reps trying to get the shirt to open up. You can see my, I can't even get my hand out to where I need it to help me. So my wife has actually handed off upwards of 600 pounds to me in the past, so uh, she's getting real good at it. So once we get the hand off here, a little shaky. There we go. So I'm just going to take the weight down. I'm not even holding my breath. I'm not wearing a belt or anything. I'm just letting the weight sit on the shirt, trying to get it to open up a little bit, stretch out, kind of getting prepped for the, the heavier sets and made almost a 300 pound jump this is 825 again no belt just riding the shirt real high the collar is actually on my Adam's apple here not having quite as much trouble getting my hand out to where I need it and we had a little miscommunication here with one of the spotters there on the left he's not even going to have his hands on the bar there he goes way out to where I need it this is a triple uh, like I said, 825. Real easy set. Uh, even with this weight, I mean, I'm touching the board, but I'm not getting any stretch out of that shirt quite yet. Up and back. But even such, my speed was not too bad. Pretty happy with that set. Now I got a belt on. We're going up. Uh, this is 925. I got a new crew of spotters. These guys are great. They, they really help me out. And asking anybody to hand off this kind of weight is, is, a, is a task. And the two guys on the side had told me afterwards that they had never handed off anywhere near this kind of weight before. So it was a learning experience for them. First handoff's a little shaky. Sometimes what they don't realize is I know I need the weight out of the rack, but they, ha they have to come way, way out over my belly. I gotta just tell them. Get it out a little further, a little bit quicker. I'm actually talking to them as I'm taking the weight out, telling them where I need it. And this is a double. Man, not a lot of speed. Felt like 1,200 pounds, so I'm not real happy with that set. I'm kind of frustrated. So we come back a little bit more intense, a little more serious. I got my belt cinched, got my uh, lever actually latched, keeping the shirt right where I need it. Kind of rode up on me on that last set, so get my hand out to me pretty easy. This handoff is way better than the first one, which also helps. Going for another double here. Yeah, I'm a lot more stable on this one. And after that second rep, I knew I knew it was way better. Yep, I'm a lot more happy with that one. So after that double, uh, I wanted to finish on a good note. I wanted to get a triple. So that's what this set is. This is a triple. Same weight. The weight was the same for all three sets. 925. 
don't know if you can see when I'm grabbing the bar, the bar is kind of whipping while it's still in the rack. Um, I didn't realize they have a whole rack of power bars meant for heavier weight. I just kind of grabbed the bar that was sitting on the bench at the time. And that'll be something I do next time is actually get a decent bar that's not going to bend like a noodle. Perfect handoff. That was the best handoff of the entire day. As was, this was my best set of the day. We got that third rep. Right there's the lockout. Good. I'm done. A little CNS overload, a little fish out of water shake in there, but uh, not something I haven't done before. But that's all I had energy for, so uh, move on to something else. My fucking hands are swollen. Say what that is. Uh, blood blister, I guess. Ooh. New shirt, fuzzies. How do you feel? I feel like garbage. So we are done. Bench day. Uh, pretty successful, I'd say, uh, for a break-in day. Like I said, multi breaking in a multiply piece of gear really sucks. Didn't have energy for much else after that. Did some raw work and uh, a little bit of accessories. We didn't get time to get it recorded. We ran out of battery. A pretty successful day. So now we're gonna eat. We packed our food instead of spending the money to <laughs> go eat out somewhere. So that's pretty cool. We got potatoes, broccoli, and a uh, burger meat kind of mixed with some uh, teriyaki sauce, pretty sure. So, we're gonna get to it. <laughs> 